and welcome back to another weekly reading vlog. Uh, you might have noticed in my uploads that I kind of took a little time off. I've just been having some issues at home and personal things, so I just couldn't deal <laughs> and I just kind of shut down. So I took a little time off. I really didn't read during these like two-ish weeks and I'm sorry that I kind of disappear on you guys, but I am back and I'm ready to get back into the swing of things and kind of go on with things. So that is all that I'm going to say about that. But I do have a book haul for you from the last vlog that you guys have seen. But I thought I would update you guys a little bit on my reading. So today is Monday, November 27th. And I have literally just started the Night Circus like yesterday, maybe two days ago, so I'm not very far into it. So last night I was listening up to page 116 and we have our live show on the second. So if you guys are planning to participate, leave a comment down below letting us know that you're going to be there. We also have our Goodreads page, um, me and Gabby, we've started our Mogul Studies group. If you guys, this is all new to you. We're reading The Night Circus, so if you've read The Night Circus before or if you're reading along with us, come join us because we'd love to have you. Uh, we are doing it on November 7th, 2nd and I will put the time here, I believe it's 6 p.m., 8 p.m., I'll leave a little annotation right here. So it is Monday, November 27th, and I'm a little behind because our live show is this weekend and I just need to get on this. So I've only listened to about 116 pages. I just was not feeling reading this, so I decided to get it on audiobook. Oh shit. That's my alarm to leave for work. So th this is my life. Anyways, <laughs> uh, the Night Circus. The, uh, I decided to pick it up on audiobook because I was just not feeling reading, so this is my way to get through it. I'm in the middle of reading this. I'm 116 pages in, and I've been listening to it like crazy, so I will update you guys tomorrow on how far I've gotten, but I have gotten quite far today. Also, I've been listening to, on audiobook, City of Glass. So I am on chapter 12, so I am 264 pages in, and I'm actually really loving this, but unfortunately I really need to finish this before I can pick this back up. So I'm like powering through this, one, to get it down before the live show, and two, so I can pick this back up because I'm actually really loving this and I am so surprised how much I'm enjoying this book. So really focusing on those two, we're still casually listening to Harry Potter and the Half-Blood Prince. We're not too far into it. I don't think we're going to finish it this month, but we're still doing that. And now let's get into the... Uh, books that I picked up during my Powell's trip that you guys saw in my last vlog. Oh, and an extra book because I have like the sweetest friends and Trisha, I told Trisha about what was going on and well, I was just like having a rough day and so she like just felt really bad and, and wanted to surprise me with something nice and just she is like the greatest. If you guys aren't subscribed to her, go check her out. It's uh, Tell Her a Story is her YouTube channel. She's fantastic. Anyways, she surprised me with A Discovery of Witches by Deborah Harkness, and I have not actually looked into this, but I've read the back cover of it, and it looks freaking amazing, and it hits, like, my points that I love, and Trisha recommended it to me, so, I mean, I, I'm sure I will probably love it, but she got me this and a little $5, like, card to get uh, hot cocoa, and just it was just, like, such a nice surprise, so... I'm so thankful for bookish friends. <laughs> but this is part of my haul, so I have this one that is going on my TBR shelf. Next up, I had to pick up the second book in Maggie Steve Otter's uh, Raven Cycle, which is The Dream Thieves. I really enjoyed book one. It took a little bit for me to get into it, but I really en ended up enjoying it, and I can't wait to start the second one. So I will probably pick this one up in December, probably. Next up is a wildly acclaimed book that is so popular here on YouTube and I don't really know that much about, but I'm really excited to go into it kind of blind just knowing that people are like loving it. And that is I'll Give You the Sun by Jandy Nelson. I've actually never read anything by this author, but I'm excited to check it out. And it talks about like siblings who are twins who are really close and then they grow apart and it talks about like that idea is that like something's pulling them apart and then they have to like come back together and stuff. So 
I, I know very little about this and I really want to go into it like that. Next up is another one I am super excited to pick up, which is Hunting Prince Dracula by Carrie Maniscalco. I adored her writing with Stalking Jack the Ripper. She has great wit and that is like a weight of my heart is having great wit in a book. So I cannot wait to pick this one up. Yabby is current, or currently reading it or she just finished it or something like that and she was like loving it. So I cannot wait to get to this and I love the characters in this and I'm so, so excited. Next time I ordered this off of Amazon and it was kind of a fail because I ordered this so I could participate in the Hot Mess book club and I missed their live show because it was in November. But I picked up uh, Simon vs. the Homo Sapiens Agenda, another wildly acclaimed book about bullying in high school and there's obviously a gay romance in here if you guys have any idea what this is about. And they just, it, it's supposed to be a cute romance book and eventually I will get to this one. Next up, because I was in a bookstore and I couldn't like control myself and I just need to finish this because I loved book one and I was so so on book two so I'm hoping it'll go out with a bang. I picked up Win The Winner's Kiss by Marie Rutowsko, Rutowski? Marie Rutowski. I don't know why I messed up that name there. But this book, it, the, the first book is a fantastic, I don't want to spoil too much because this is the third one, but I really, really enjoyed the first one. I loved, like, the, again, the, the mind political aspect of the first one is one of the key high points for me in the first book. Next up, I just saw this one and I've never seen a book like this and I was so drawn to it and I love RuPaul's Drag Race and, and so I just saw this and I was like, yes, guys. <laughs> it's called Drag Teen. I've never heard anything about this on booktube so I'm excited to see if I like this one. It's a pretty short book but it's about a, a guy who is doing a drag race for a scholarship and I'm just very very curious to see how well they do representation in this and I just I, it, it sounds interesting and I've never seen anything like this so I wanted to pick it up so I picked this one up and next are two books that I got for free because I am a very very lucky person and I work in a bookstore and you get free arcs and things like that so I saw this in the back room and I absolutely had to pick it up because people have been raving about this arc and it's not even out yet it comes out in January 2018 this is called The Hazelwood by Melissa Albert and this is all about a I think it, this is the one about a grandmother who lives in the woods and her the granddaughter was told to never go in the woods because there is like some mystery element with this and then her mother goes missing and so the granddaughter has to go into the woods to find her grandmother something along those lines it sounds kind of spooky i'm excited like people that's getting rave reviews and i'm excited to see what i think about this one sorry if i'm like rushing through this i'm literally going to be late for work if i don't leave soon another book that just came in that caught my attention that i was like yes please i like i saw crazy good things about this and it said for fans of Sarah J Mass, and I was like, yep, just just give it to me. Which is The Bone Witch by Rin Chupeco. And this one has elements of necromancy, and that's all I pretty much know about this one. Uh, to be honest, I did know more about this book like two weeks ago when I originally filmed this book haul, and then I decided to scrap all that footage and start over. But I know that this was fans of Sarah J Mass, and necromancy which I don't have any books about and that it was like crazy popular on NetGalley when it was first put on there so I definitely want to pick it up plus this cover is gorgeous and I am victim to cover buys a lot so yeah so that is all for my reading update and my Powell book haul I do work until like 12 30 a.m. tonight because we've got a stuff at work so I won't update you tonight, but I will totally update you guys tomorrow, and I will see you then. Hey guys, I wanted to do another update for you guys. It is Tuesday at like 11.30 because I worked all day today. So I wanted to do a quick update from yesterday's and summing up today's what I have read. So I have actually made it quite far in my night surface. I'm looking on my audiobooks right now, that's why I'm looking down. So, last time I told you guys, I am at page 116, and I am now at 298. So I made quite a bit of progress. I'm finally making it through 
And I should, if I keep up with this pace, be done with it by the live show, which is great because if not, I was going to have to marathon it all day, the day of the live show. <laughs> so I'm probably going to be finished with this one. I am enjoying it. And if you guys like wanted to follow along as we're reading this, we do have a great light or great Goodreads group. I've probably already talked about this. I don't remember how many times I've talked about this. We have a Goodreads group for our book club. That's where we talk about it and we chunk it up in parts so we can avoid spoilers. But it's been a lot of fun and that's where you get like my up to date reading thoughts. So I'm really enjoying this one. I understand the hype because it's like beautiful and beautiful writing and very like visual in this whole thing. Like it's got a beautiful setting and it's very atmospheric. However, you don't get a lot of time with the characters, so it's making it hard to get attached. Like, as soon as I, like, get attached to the characters and, like, want to know more, we switch to another set of characters. And we, they switch a lot about time. Like, there's different time jumps in this, too. So, that's kind of frustrating because I feel like this could have been either a longer book or split up into two books. It's just, I want to know more detail about these characters and I feel like I don't fully know what's going on because of this the little time that we're getting with everybody. So that's my complaint with the Night Circus. I sadly haven't read any more of City of Glass because I'm trying to power through this one and then I get to go back to this one. So it'll be my motivation to finish Night Circus. Like I said, not, not that Night Circus is bad, but it's just not as much fun as this one right now. <laughs> and we are quite far in Harry Potter, so we have we were on chapter 16, so we were at 325, and now we are on page 423, and we're on chapter 20. So we are making some progress through this one. We might we might be able to finish this by the first, so it may be in my November wrap-up. Who knows? But we are making our way through this one, and I absolutely adore this one. I love, like, literally everything in this book. There's no, like, parts that I hate. I love the, like, school aspect of this. I love the Ron Lavender, like, Jealousy Hermione thing. I love the whole Slughorn, like, Slughorn Harry and diving into the memories and Dumbledore and Harry that everything going on with them like I just love this book so so much so I've been really really enjoying listening to this one and that is all for this little update I will check back in with you guys tomorrow and soon I will have a day off which is very exciting but I haven't been getting a lot of reading done because of that I've been on a kind of a long day streak and I've also been um, training at a, at a new position at my job so that's been kind of overwhelming with hours and everything. Also along with that I have been reading a book for work that I have to spend time reading that we like talk about so I also have been spending a lot of time reading that book. I don't really know if you guys would like to know about like workbooks like that. It's like team building workbooks. So let me know if you guys want me to throw those in here or do you guys just want like fiction books. Uh, let me know and I will check back with you guys tomorrow. Hey guys, I wanted to do another update with you. It is Wednesday. And I have made some progress in my night circus. I have read about 100 extra pages, or listened to 100 extra pages in this one. So I am about done. I am at 398, 395. And it's got about 500 pages, a little over 500 pages. So hopefully I will be able to finish it. I think I, sh I should be able to in the next couple of days. I'll knock that out. Then we've also made it through a little bit of Harry Potter. We've made it about 20 pages in Harry Potter, so not too, too much, but I'm sure we will get some more of this done tomorrow, and tomorrow is my day off, so I'll be able to hopefully knock out a little bit more of my reading done, 
and I promise I will have more content for you guys during this reading vlog besides me just sitting in this chair and updating you at the end of the night. I promise I will have more for you. So I will check back in with you guys tomorrow where hopefully I will actually have some more reading content for you. Hey guys! It is Friday and I have finally finished the night circus. We can take this out of there. So I got it done before my live show and I'm so excited to do my live show because so many thoughts right now. I am rating it a 3 out of 5 stars and if you guys are interested you guys can go back and check out the live show. I believe it's going to be on Gabby's channel. And I understand the hype with this book somewhat, but if you actually look at it with a critical eye, I think I don't want to ruin it for anybody. If you guys like it, great, like enjoy the book, but if you look at it with a critical eye, like there's not a lot of character development, there's not a very strong plot line. The imagery is beautiful, the scene setting and everything is great, it's just there's not a lot of meat to the story. And there's not, I just, I have a lot of thoughts about this. So feel free to check out the live show. It's going to be coming up, or it'll it'll already be coming up at the time that you've watched this video. So go and check it out and talk to me, or leave me a comment down below and I will talk to you about the what I thought about the book. But it should be an interesting first live show. And I can't wait to start the next book because I'm not waiting till the last minute this for December to start this next book. So... <laughs> Done with Night Circus. Also, because today is December 1st, I thought it would be fun to pick up something that you guys can like follow along and I can unbox for you every day. So, with this, I like love advent calendars and I love Vlogmas and I love watching people open up their advent calendars every day. So, I have been looking forever for an advent calendar that I would actually like the things in it because most of the time advent calendars have like little itty bitty stickers or toys or you know like it's nothing great and I was really considering making my own but I realized everything that I would want to put in a advent calendar for myself would end up being like a second Christmas so I decided to nix that idea and then I saw this at work and I am down for it because I love food. So, it is Harry and David Moose Munch Premium Popcorn, and it's got 12 days, so I'm gonna open up the first one. I don't know if I've ever had Moose Munch, but I like literally drool over this at work all the time. So I'm excited to try it out. Plus, they've got some really fun flavors in here. And inside, it doesn't like have certain days it just has like all of them so I'm gonna follow this so the first one is the milk chocolate little milk chocolate popcorn so I'm gonna do a little taste test and see how good this moose munch is I really wanted I've, if you guys have watched my other vlogs I really wanted the um, Harry Potter sock advent calendar, but those have been ridiculously hard to find, so I went with popcorn instead. Good caramel. Wow, that's really good. So I'm going to be snacking on this later, but I thought that would be fun for me to open up every day even though I can see like what I'm gonna get. So also, I am planning on, since it's officially December 1st, I'm planning on pulling out some of my Christmas decorations. And I really wanna like make my bookshelves pretty, but I haven't decided what I'm gonna do with them yet. So you, if I end up doing that, you guys will probably see a time lapse coming up after this. Also, I wanna pop up my big tree, even though we're getting new couches, so we're gonna have to move the tree we were debating whether or not to wait to put the, our Christmas tree up, but I'm too impatient and I want to put up my Christmas tree, so. Well, you'll probably see that one as well. I'm not sure how much I'm going to end up reading for the rest of the night, but I will definitely check in with you guys tomorrow, because tomorrow is my day off, so I'll be able to get a little more done. I've already started listening to City of Glass again, and 
I love, I've been like loving that book right now. So that is all for this quick little update and I will talk to you guys in my next checkup. <laughs>when you forget that you have to plug in the Christmas tree before setting it all together so we have to take it all off and then figure out how the heck we did it last year. I know I am not the only one who's done that. <laughs> hey guys, I wanted to do a little update. I think I'm going to end the vlog here and I'm going to start another one tomorrow. So I know I didn't read that much this week but that is life I got through and hopefully I can continue reading and get out of my reading slump and read a little more for you guys next week. So. Thank you guys for watching, and happy December. I will see you guys in my next vlog. Bye.